guys, I was literally pulling Red Gem Ball off in the name of Thunder Empire, and then the camera stopped recording. Hey guys, welcome back to another Buddy Fight video. Today we're looking at Booster Pack Alternative Volume 1 Crossing Generations. Now, before we have a look at the box and the pack card real quick, let's have a look quickly at this promo card right here. Fire, DD Calvary, Dragon, Amino, Kazuchi. Sorry if I said that wrong, but here he is. Very interesting Sun Dragon. You can get a life and draw as well when you link attack with double attack. So, interesting promo card right there. Here is the pack card right here. We've got one of the new bots that can, um, when it destroys a monster, it can stand again. New, I believe that's a Thora from the, actually the spell card art. And we also got bots SD right there. So if you do look at the pack, there are six buddy rares, including drum, bow, new versions of them. And we also got 18 secret rares. So if you like dragons, if you like buddy fight, maybe you want to get some of the old drum. I don't know if the drum impact monsters in this set. I believe it is. But... Yeah, there are some cards, basically, uh, for monsters throughout the series. It doesn't mean they're coming back in the anime, by the way. But I also wanted to say that um, we have a Buddy Fight Discord channel. So there's a link to that description below. I'm usually on there. I um, usually do Buddy Fight area. Talk about Buddy Fight, other stuff. There's some pretty cool people there. You guys can just talk about Buddy Fight and do whatever you like. And also, I want to be announcing Buddy Fight and Bridge series, but I'll do that in another video. And I also do small announcements like that on the Discord. So that's enough of that. And without further ado, let's get into opening some packs. Hope we can get bots... The new version, maybe is Buddy Rare version, crossing my fingers. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, let's get straight into the first pack. Here is the artwork, as I already showed. We're looking for Bots SD, definitely. I would love to get Bots SD. Let's crash straight into this first pack. So we got Sunrise Spike right here. Hopefully the lighting is okay, guys. Um, I do realize the camera zoomed in a bit, so sorry about that. But hopefully it still looks okay. We got Sunrise Spike. We got Ressa Fan. Oh, so Moo Thunder Empire, that's really nice. Acid Crystal Dragon, um, Gavlet. Lost Dragon Arms, Giant Fragment, interesting. And we got Dragonic Charge Plus, Double Rare. So, this card can get you 5 gauge if you can meet the requirements. So, you know, people say it's a bad card, but in my opinion, you know, 5 free gauge, you get 2 automatically. You get an extra 3 if you have 5 life or less. So, really nice card. I don't see why it's not that bad. So, we got Dragonic Charge Plus. Interesting card, you get some nice gauge, so double rare right there. Let's move on to the next pack. So right off the bat, first pack, we're going to get a double rare Dragonic Charge Plus. So if I can open this pack. Okay, so let's get straight into the next one. We got Buddy Together right here. I see right here. We got Fire Dragon Shield, aka the Double Shield. We've got Crystal Shower. Let me just move this stuff to the side. We've got Revival Prism. And we've got Sand Dragon Shield. So a nice card that can get you gauge and life if you can meet the requirements. So, again, looking through the set, hoping that we can get a Buddy Rare or a Secret Rare. Possibly, maybe even, like, a Secret Flag. That'd be really cool to get. We got Giant Arman Bulbas right there. We've also got Aloof Jaggy right there. we got Candy Crystal Dragon Nuts. We've got Pink Crystal Dragon Tarvel. And we've got... ER75 Burrows. I forgot to talk about this, but there's also the new attribute Cosmo Dragoon in this set as well. So here's one of the new Cosmo Dragoons. Really nice one with Move and Soul Guard. So actually, the Cosmo Dragoons can actually be really nice for maybe a budget deck, because they actually aren't that bad. They have some really nice cards as well. Let's move on. We got Eliminator Warlock Pedos. We've got Buddy, come on. We've got, oh, Blade of Stellar Deity. Uh, I can't read that. VR Racketeer, if I said that right, nice dual world for Zodiac. We got Wild Wise Trap right there, very nice artwork. Prism Dragon Impact, yes! That's what I'm talking, thank you Bushy Road. That's, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yes, we got Bots SD, what was that, the third pack? Okay, wow. We got Bots SD right here, really nice card. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the tripware bots is so far like i don't have the original bots from dark lord's rebirth because i never opened more packs for him but yes we got boss sd really nice basically his ability you choose size two or greater card with bots it's card name in your drop zone pay with gauge do put this card from your field and drop zone if you do call a chosen card by paying his call cost for this turn that card gets power plus 2000 and critical plus one so you can use him as an attacker i don't see why not he doesn't have the greatest stats but you can set up bats basically with more critical this way just to deal more damage to your opponent especially combined with like thunder x shredder and globs, you can get like maybe five crit, maybe six crit if you use some other spells and really get off some good damage. So I'll sleeve that up in a second, but I really want to get um, opening the rest of these packs. But yes, bots SD, that is what I like to see. So 
Really grateful for that. Sun Dragon Shield reprint. Awesome. So, we're getting Sun Dragon Shield right here. Thunder X Doll. Really nice Thunder Empire card. Maybe for those who don't have bots. Oh, this is a really great Prism Dragon card. Love it. Prism Relic right here. Discard Stacy Prism Dragon from your hand. You get three gauge. Um, gain a life and draw a card. And we got one of the new J15 Tip Tree Cosmo Dragoons. And we're going to get Transcend Star Dragon Emperor Eggwit. Uh, I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. But anyways, awesome card right here. Uh, let's have a look at it. Put the top card of your deck into this card. So pay three gauge. When this card text, put the top three cards of your deck into your drop zone and call up to one monster from among them by paying its call cost. That card becomes size zero until it leaves the field with Soul Guard. 9,000 power, 6,000 defense, size three, critical of two. So this card in Dragon's Wine. My goodness. I was playing around with it in BFA. There's also a size three prison dragon in the set called Wishkit, which um, deals has zero critical, but it has counter attack and Soul Guard and deals three damage to your opponent at the beginning of the final phase. So this, the fact that you can get more size threes, there's also the new EX I mentioned now, which is also insane. Yeah, so extremely powerful card. Happy with that pull. You know, it could have been something else, but I can't complain. It's a great card. So let's move on. Okay, I'm seeing some more nice Thunder Empire cards. Uh, we got Winning with Wits right here. Um, Tactician Sanjio, interesting card right here. We got Pink Crystal Dragon Tarvel. Again, I'm ready to see duplicates. Dragon Knight of Mirror Carrasco foil. And we got Super Armor Dragon Galvanic Horn Dragon. Interesting. So, um, again, there is the new uh, Boxing Bell. And um, also the Star Dragon Ropes, like the Hero um, Dragon or Jackknife, would be, actually be pretty cool as well. We got Dragon Knight Directive Bertrand. We got Aloof Jaggy right here. Jewelry Chest. Cosmo Charge Protection. So, and Cosmo Heal Protection. So, just right there in two packs, you get two Cosmo Dragoon Heal Spells. So, I don't see... Sorry, two Cosmo Dragoon Spells. So, I don't see why it would be too hard to make Cosmo Dragoon deck. So, I think for starters, people could easily maybe be able to make it. Maybe if you buy some packs, trade with your friends or something. If I can open this pack, which I'm not going to be able to, because, uh... Wow. Okay. I cannot open packs. Let's just shred this one. We got a Thunder Knight... Uh, Thunder Knight, if I can talk... Up front, we got Thunder Knight's Broadsword Witch Shield. We got Dragon Knight um, a Mirror Carrasco Phantasm Counter. So, uh, basically, your Drago Energy for your Cosmo Dragoons. Star Alternative and Delete Jewel. So, wow, we're getting some Prism Dragon cards as well. So, this is a really nice uh, spell for Prism Dragons. Uh, it is not a counter, unfortunately, but you can use this card. You have Size and Dragon on your center. One gauge, one life. Choose one of the following. You can put all souls. From your opponent's field, from monster on your sorry on your opponent's field drop zone, or destroy a card in your opponent's field. So it can be used either way, and I can definitely see a lot of people using this for sideboard. But again, I don't play competitive, so I wouldn't know. But it seems like a really nice card just to bring out of nowhere, especially if your opponent is maybe using like Death Requiem, they don't have anything protecting it, and then you just like use Elite Jewel or something, or maybe get rid of some pesky spells or other f items. So we got Dragonite of Mind's Eye Galileo, White Crystal Dragon Shermblen. I can't say that. Uh, Lost Dragon Arms Giant Fragment. We got Candy Crystal Dragon Nuts. This time as a common foil. And Star Dragon Lance Black Clocks. This is also a really nice Cosmo Dragoon weapon as well. So, wow. So far, getting some pretty cool um, pulls. These cards are looking absolutely amazing in the foil and everything. So, we got, um, I believe, yeah, the Dragon Knight's card right here. Convertible Dragon Lance Gears Lance. We got Sun Dragon Shield. So, yeah, your Sun Dragon Shield's common card. Pretty easy to pull. Star Dragon Knight. Sorry, Star Jack and Lance for in height. We got Roto Barrier, so a nice. So you get a lot of nice shields in this set. Here's a really nice Thunder Empire card. Tiny Flame Dragon Linear. It's like your Boomerang Dragon, just with Critical of 2 for Thunder Empire. So, again, Cosmo Dragon is looking really easy to pull. And I really like how there's a lot of shield cards. Because before you got to get trial decks and stuff like that. So, you're getting like tons of cards like Proto Barrier and Sun Dragons. It's like common cards. We got Dragonite of Mind's Eye, Galileo, Combat Medic, Strip. We've got Jewelry Chest again. Phantasm Counter. I see a Double Rare Prison Dragon. Master Domination. This is for... Okay, so this is just for Star Dragon World. I believe this is supposed to be for uh, Variable Cord. So, interesting right here. Choose a card on your field. For this turn, you give it Power Plus 2000 and a Penetrate. If you have three or more cards... Um, th sorry, three or more Soul Link cards on your field, draw a card. If you have five or more, for this turn, give the Chosen card Double Attack. So, boosting up your Variable Cord... And coming up with some of the same problems, if I could talk, insane combos. There's also, I believe, a new variable cord. I don't remember if it was in this set. I think it is. Okay, let's move on. But yeah, 
Uh, five or more souls. So you can actually use that with Neo Dragons as well. So, sorry, with like uh, Jack, because Jack and I was, um, was it? Um, we got Lightkeeper Dragon. It was, yeah, Style of Justice, Thunder Knife's Broadsword, Vivid Move. So, sir, stop, if I could talk, Space Agent and Thunder X Flash. So, again, uh, Neo Dragons are pretty strong, but so far I don't really play competitive, so I wouldn't know. But just from playing with the cards, like, Neo Dragons are still with- Oh, this card! Cannonball Squad! Okay, so, in the Reddit and translation on, like, Buddy Spoil and stuff, we got Cannonball Team. But this card is just- it's just such a fun card to play around with. You can have any number of Cannonball Squad in your deck. If you have two more, it gets power plus 2,000. Five or more, this card is critical plus one, of course, in the drop zone. At the end of the battle of this card, you may destroy this card if you do call to one Cannonball Squad from your hand. 5,000 power, 3,000 defense, critical of one. So, you can just spam call this card, maybe just to have fun with it or troll your friends, I don't know. Drago Bond, oh, with this beautiful artwork of Bats and Gout. Love that artwork so much. We didn't get, maybe like a foil version, that would be nice, but I can't complain. Really nice card. I'm going to put this to the side right here. We've got Kali Colloid Armor, if I can talk. Red Crystal Dragon, Karin Yen. And... We're gonna get Chartres. Wow. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. 100% take it. Really nice Risen Dragon right here. So we got Jade Crystal Dragon Chartres right here. Really nice for burn damage. And it can become a size 3 because you um, its ability can reduce the size of it by 3. If you have an originally size 3 Risen Dragon on your center, it's got 6,000 power, 6,000 fence, critical 2, and only 1 gauge to call. At the end of the battle, there's a Prison Dragon on your center. Sorry. Prison Dragon Monster on your field was attacked, so it can be on your left or right as well. And you have a Prism Dragon on your center, deal one damage to your opponent. So, this combined with Crystal Spikes is already a burn at two, get a Radiant Shell, that's one damage burn. There's also the new, um, uh, the one in the set that has zero criticals I talked about earlier, can deal three damage, you're beating your opponent's final phase with effect damage. And then, of course, you got Cristiano Crystal Shoot. So, burn damage may become a thing for Prism Dragons, but yeah, it's definitely a really fun card to play around with, and it's a really, really cool artwork. And, of course, the shine on that card is insane, so... Awesome, we got a triple rare Prism Dragon. I believe that is our second triple rare, so you can only get one more. Again, still hoping for a buddy rare or an SP. That would be amazing. Got Fist Dragon of Torrid Flames. Uh, if I can read that. Organoilus, if I can say that right. Eliminate Warlock Pedos. Vivid Move. Additional Jewel. 5,000 defense counterattack. And we got EX Dimension. Or I could say this. EX Dimension Terminate Infinity right there. So it looks like a card maybe for Dragon Swy. Like Dragon Swy Neo Dragon, I believe, is also a thing. So you can try that out. Okay. Especially with Eggwit and those cards. We got Buddy Together. Support Warlock Yida. A13 Bester. White Crystal Dragon Kelnar. And Glitter Stone. Okay, so I believe we're almost finished one stack, but wow, the first few packs we got. Guys, take your packs from the side of the box that is higher up and has just uh, packs filled with air. Because I don't know why those just have the better, higher rarity cards. That's just San Joe. That's probably just how they um, package it. We've got Crimson Ballard, Guns Arm, Dragon. We've got Dragon Arms, Bigger Brave. We've got Acid Crystal, Dragon, Gamlet, again. And Double Rare, Demon Lord's Roaring Dragon Blast. I did not know this was a Double Rare, but it's the Thunder Empire. Oh, 100% take it. So, two gauge destroy all monster in opponent's field and draw cards equal to the number of cards destroyed. So, I don't see why this card um, isn't that bad. I could definitely see it being helpful in some situations. Cough, Chaos cards. But, again, Chaos, uh, for those who haven't seen the new flag, go on, buddy, spoiler. Um, size 30s can't be destroyed by card effects, but this is still not a bad card in my opinion. So, it is two gauge, but you can still get some nice draw. So, there you go. So... Moving on, we're getting some really nice Thunder Empire cards. I do want some really strong, like, size 2s, so. <gasps> though. No way! No way! We did it! Wait, wait, wait a second! Okay, wait, 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 I was, I was confused for a second. Guys, we did it. We got the Prism Giant Secret Pack. It wasn't the Thunder Empire, but I will take it. Okay, let's have, let me just have a look at these cards real quick. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, wow. Wait, you get two Tarnats? Is, th is this like an error? Uh, are you supposed to get two Tarnats in this set? In, in the secret pack, I mean? Okay, well, uh, let's have a look at the cards. So, wow, we got Avatar of Glass Crystal Athor right here. With Counter Jacket Soul Guard. Really nice combo right there. 
Critical 3, 7,000 power, 7,000 defense, size 3. Call cost, but the top guard deck can discard soul and pay 3 gauge. This card's on your center. This card on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. When you catch a spell during your opponent's turn, draw a card. So that ability, definitely really nice with the extra draw. We've got Red Crystal Dragon Tarnat. Monsters on your center get Penetrate. So basically giving your Prism Dragons a bit more offense. But there's that promo card that can give your uh, Prism Dragon Critical plus 1 and Penetrate. Then we got this beautiful card right here. Let me put that to the side for a second. You want to be very careful with that. And then for some reason, we have a rare foil version. And then we have like a double rare foil version for whatever the reason. Another Red Crystal Tarnat. And we got the secret Prism Canceller. Look at, oh my, this is my first basically secret. Um, like, I did have the Kyoya Gaiden, but my goodness, I don't know why this card just looks so much better in every way. Wow, that, that looks amazing. I really wish it was like, I really want to see the Buddy Rare ones in real life. Like, just looking at the card art, like, just on as an image, as a PNG file, as a picture file, it looked incredible, but like, in real life... I'm just lost for words, like, just flashing that in the light, you guys can see the rainbow all over. Wow. Okay. Wow. I, I'm literally lost for words right now, guys. I'm sorry. But is, is that a glitch? Or whatever, uh, mispackaging, I mean, for uh, two Tarnats. But I will 100% take that. So, we've got two Avatar class, um, glass Crystal Thor. So, we got a Secret Rare, which like a Buddy Rare kind of version, uh, regular version. Just foil, and then same thing for these two, and then the Prism Canceller uh, spell card. So really nice Prism Dragon deck. Definitely going to include that with Charteras. going to be a really nice combo. So yes, maybe I'll start playing Prism Dragons in real life. I know my deck isn't the greatest because um, I don't have too many cards, but I 100% take that. We still got some more cards to go, so let's get into it. But oh my goodness, that card is just so beautiful. We got Res Fan Fan, Blade of Star Deity, Vika Tier. We've got Super Gravity Device, Graviton Generator. We've got Prism Relic, awesome, foil version. And we got Famed, yeah, Famed Military Divisor, Fanning. So, really nice Thunder Empire card. I would definitely put this in the deck, especially um, just because of its ability to return. All Thunder Empire um, cards on your field cannot be uh, rest nor return to hand by opponent's card effects. So, you get this out with bots, and then basically use Thunder X Shredder or whatever his effects. So then... Um, like, for example, let's say, uh, pretend this card is bots, let's say. So, let's say bots is on the, in the drop zone, right? We use this card's ability, one gauge, bring out bots, so now he's a critical three. Let's say we're talking about the original bots, so now he's got a critical three. And then, we use, like, Thunder X Shredder, we're below four life, so he gets the triple attack, can't be returned to hand, can't be rested, and can't be nullified if, if, if he's attacking alone because of that effect with triple attack, and maybe some extra crit, maybe from another effect or... Uh, well, I forgot what the spell was. Bots X Thunder, I believe it was. But yeah, Fanning is actually a pretty nice card in my opinion. So, again, wow. I, I, I'm really lost for words right now. Let's just keep going. We're going to get Cannonball Squad. Awesome. So, we've got Cannonball Squad, Recovery Warlock, Sahal, Space Agent. Now I'm looking for some more Prism Dragon cards. Crystal Shower, and Arc Dragon Odachi. So we are going to be getting some more Thunder Empire cards. Where, were my, where was my Thunder Empire deck in, uh, sorry, where was my Thunder Empire luck in, uh, what was it, Dark Lords Rebirth, jeez, my memory is just going away, but yes, we got the new Arc Dragon, or Thunder Empire item right here, 3,000 power, critical 2, 1 gauge, 1 life to equip, when a monster in your field is attacking alone for this turn, this card gets power plus 2,000, when this card attacks, destroys your opponent's monster, or deals damage to your opponent, top card deck into your gauge, so, Really nice for a gauge. I can definitely see this being used with something else, especially with energy on this set, the triple rare. Can definitely help you get some gauge. So, really nice to have a Thunder Empire item that is of high rarity. So, finally, we're getting some good Thunder Empire decks. I can see the deck coming together right here. We've got Dragon Calvary Arts Spirit Aura. We've got Thunder Orb right here. Colloid Armor. Revival Prism. And... A Fate Memory Bot. So we're going to get this new bots right here. I'd actually put it, probably put into my deck uh, just because I don't have too many botses. But really nice card, especially for those who may not have like the double rare or triple rare secrets. And then a battle this card. Attack you have item equipped. Stay on this card. Five left for less. This, critical, this card gets critical plus two. So it's not as strong as the other bots because, you know, it can be destroyed during your turn. But still a really nice card to have. So I'll definitely take any bosses I can get right now. So 100%. We'll take that. So, so far, we got the secret pack, some other stuff. More Dragonite. So, we got Dragonite Directive Bertrand right here. Fist Dragon of Toward Flames, or Garnos, if I can say that. Yeah. Uh, Candy Crystal Dragon Nuts. 
and we got super gravity device graviton generator and we're gonna get the impact for um cosmo dragoon right here dragoon skill stardust maneuver so nice spell card sorry impact right there for cosmo dragoons especially because they can rearrange their deck so let's get on to the next pack we got buddy come on we've got another dragon calvary art spirit aura wow okay uh, we got Meteor Arms Vascal. We've got Red Gem Ball. Okay, well, um, guys, I was literally pulling Red Gem Ball off in the name of Thunder Empire, and then the camera stopped recording. So, yeah, I, I was stuck in this position. But, yes, another Thunder Empire card. Okay, that was, that was probably overreaction. Anyways, we got in the name of Thunder Empire, probably, uh, probably one of the best Thunder Empire cards or something you need in the deck, in my opinion. Yes, I need more of you. More Penta. Okay, we got In the Name of Thunder Empire. Yes, I was looking for another bots, but I cannot complain. We got some really nice Thunder Empire cards now. So we got In the Name of Thunder Empire right here, spell card. Cast cost pay two life. So in my opinion, really helpful just because it's a nice Dragon World card that can um, basically reduce your life so you can use bots as effect. Cards that when you're below a certain amount of life health, you can use this. So um, really nice card for that, and you get to choose thunder, two Thunder Empire monsters you drop zone, and call them on separate areas by pairing their call costs. You may only cast in the name Thunder Empire once per turn, so awesome, amazing Thunder Empire card right there. Really, really happy with this box, so good job, Bushiro. Thank you for those Thunder Empire cards, and we also got some really amazing Prison Dragon cards as well, so wow. We got Thunder X Doll right here, um, winning with wits. We got White Crystal Dragon, Karyan. Prism Relic. We're getting a lot of Prism Relics. I just realized it's a common. Wow. What? Wow. Bushiro, do you really want me to build just Prism Dragon and Thunder Empire? Okay. I'm happy I'm not getting none of these filler cards. Wow. The one time I can't complain at all. We got Lapis Lazuli Spikes. Another great item that we can put add to the Prism Dragon deck. One gauge. The abilities of all Prism Dragon monsters on your field cannot be nullified. And they got power plus 1,000 and defense plus 1,000. Now, because Crystal Spike was only your center monster, all your monsters, including Shartuas or whatever, all the size 0 or less monsters on your left and right, will also get that 1,000 power, 1,000 defense. And trust me, guys, it makes a pretty big difference. Like, even if you're just one, th even if your um, size 3 Prism Dragon has just 1,000 more defense, they still won't be able to do anything. They're going to have to do a Link Attack or something else. And also, at the end of the battle, that a Prism Dragon monster field was attacked, for this turn, monsters on your center get defense plus 1,000. So, basically, it gives them an extra 1,000. So, pretty nice for offense and defense. But, yeah, also stops your Prison Dragon monster from being, um, ability from being nullified. So, really nice Prison Dragon item. So, wow. I, uh, I think I got literally everything that I wanted to set. I'm still going to be looking for the, maybe, drum and bots. Because in those other cards, they look incredible. We got Thunder Knight's Drago Archer right here. We got Systemic Commander Dragon. Interesting. Um, A13, Bester, um, J15, Gyptree, and Sundidi's Fragment Bow Burn. So, still looking for those other cards. I don't think we got any Sun Dragon cards. Like, there was a few here and there. We just pulled one of the rare version ones. There's also the new drum as well. So, we got Support, Range Lock, um, Yaida, Sunrise Spike, A12, Norton, Meteor Arms, um, Vash if I could say that, Vashal, Foil, and Black Crystal Dragon, Lucien Black. So, going through this, we got four more packs to go, including this one. Maybe we can get some more um, Thunder Empire cards. I'm still looking for that Drum Impact Monster. I believe it's in this set. I don't remember. Dragon Knight of Mira Carrasco. Carrasco, if I said that right. Recovery Warlock Tohal. We got White Crystal Dragon, Kelnar. AA12 Norton. Wow! How, how many Triple Rares did we get? Are we not only supposed to get three, or... Is, is my box just messed up? Did I miscount? We got another triple rare prism dragon. Wow, I, I'm i speechless right now. Like, oh, okay. An amazing size zero prism dragon right here. Red crystal dragon, more roll, 2,000 power, 1,000 defense, critical of one. Uh, red, um, yeah, red jewel tears during your opponent's turn. With a prism dragon on your field, destroyed by the top card deck, into your gauge, and draw card. Red jewel tears only activates once per turn. So your opponent basically... Um, has to attack this monster or else they afford you getting gauge and draw, which is really, really powerful for Prism Dragons, definitely. So, really nice Prism Dragon right there. Plus, we got the secret pack and a ton of cards, so I definitely think uh, the Prism Dragon deck will be a lot stronger. I'm going to have to count all my cards. I feel like I got a faulty um, 
box for some reason because I feel like I'm getting too many triple rares and whatever. But let's move on. We got Draco Bond again with that amazing artwork. Vanguard Retreat is, is th that must be a reference to Vanguard, of course. We got Earth Barrier right here, so another shield for Star Dragon World that's in the set. Cosmo Charge Protection and Orient of Ten Heads Chopper. So we're on to the last two packs, and Jesus just dropped that card. So my goodness, I'm gonna have to count the double rares and triple rares I got again. Again, at the end of the video, I will do a summary of what we got. We got Convertible Dragon Lance, um, Gears Lance. We've got Thunder Orb. We've got Star Alternative, Additional Jewel, and X10 Defender. Wow, I, am I just getting all the Star Dragon World cards now? I, I, I like, okay, I'm gonna have to count everything. I feel like I'm pulling too many double rares and triple rares right now. But X10 Defender, extremely powerful in my opinion, because you can, here, okay, let me just read the card. You only catch this card if you have a monster, um, with two or more soul on your field, so you can actually use this with Prison Dragons, but again, a lot of Prison Dragons don't really have two or more soul. Usually it's only the original Thora that does. One gauge, choose and use one of the following two. For this turn, the next time, next time damage revealed to you is reduced to zero. But then the second effect, rest a monster in your opponent's field. So this can be used to counter bots, even though there is bot sex again in this set, but Extend Defender, really interesting card, and my goodness, people, this this card will probably go up in price just because of that art, which is, look at Tsuku and his Dragon Force with Jack, my goodness, that is some insane, amazing artwork. Okay, so, I feel like I'm pulling too many cards right here. Let's just get into the last two packs. Guys, do you think we can get that? Do you think we can get that drum? Do you think we can do it? Combat Medic Stripe. Thunder Knights. Draco Archer. Wild Wise Trap. So we're getting some more Prism Dragon cards. Okay, for, that scared me for a second. That was another triple rare. We got Super Armor Dragon. Um... Galvanic Horn Dragon Rare, and we're gonna get GA47 F Ringer Rare. The last pack, guys. Can we get drum? Is is it possible right here? Could we possibly get something else? Okay, I'm seeing a comment. Vanguard Retreat, Fire Dragon Shield, Dragon Arms, Bigger Brave, White Crystal Dragon, Sharon Blend, and the last card is going to be Biggest Dragon Arms Triple. Buster, so I'm absolutely speechless right now. Let me just quickly count how we got how many double rares and triple rares we got like my goodness Okay, so we got I feel like I got way too many. I got four triple rares. Wow, okay Did they like up the rarity for the set? Did I completely forget that they changed it or something? Or did I just like get a faulty box or something? I don't even know. Oh wow. Okay, we got one two three Four, five, six, seven double rares. As for triple rares, we got one, two, three, four, five triple rares. Okay, and, and just hold hold on to me. Just just hold. Just wait a second right here. Plus, we got a secret rare with sorry secret pack with two Athoras, two Tarnets, and a Prism Canceler. So um, I'm not too sure. If this is, I, I don't want to say anything, and I'm not going to put his clickbait in the title, but I feel like this is a faulty booster box, because I thought it was like, um, or maybe I just got really lucky, but I thought it was always guaranteed a set number of double rares and triple rares per set. Maybe the alternative pack has more than usual, or maybe I got it wrong, but anyways, let's do a summary of the double rare and higher cards we pulled. So we got... Extend, let me just hold it down so it's easier to see on the camera. We've got X10 Defenders, so you guys can see the entire card. We've got Lapis, um, Lazuli Spikes, right here. We've got Arc Dragon, Odachi. Demon Lord's Roaring Dragon Blast. Dragonic Charge Plus. Delete Jewel. Master Domination. Red Crystal Dragon, Murrell. Sorry, Murrell, if I said that wrong. In the name of Thunder Empire, Bots SD, J Crystal Dragon, Shatras, Transcend Star Dragon Emperor Ewiquet, Ewiquet, I can't even say the name, and we also got the uh, Prism Dragon Secret Pack with Prism Canceler, Red Crystal Dragon Tarnat, so we got like a double rare, rare weird foil version, and we got a rare version, and then we also got the secret uh, buddy rare kind of foil, Avatar of Glass Crystal, Athora, and Avatar Glass Crystal Athora Rare Versions. So, I don't know what's going on here. I'm gonna have to go check the details on the website. 
So, I'm actually going to check on my phone right now because I am really confused. I feel like, I feel kind of guilty just pulling so many cards, but then I feel like I could have missed something as well. Like, my goodness, we got just incredible stuff. So, let me go on the Buddy Fight website real quick. Give me, give me a few seconds, but, the, oh my goodness, I cannot complain. Like, this, this is just incredible. Like, we got so many great Thunder Empire cards. I really would have wished for some more monsters, but I can't complain. In name of Thunder Empire is really nice. We also got um, really, really great uh, Prism Dragons as well. So let me go into the Buddy Fight website real quick, because I swear, um, I always thought it was a set amount because I always got the same thing per box. Maybe um, Crossing Generations was different, or maybe I got something wrong. Let's have a look at Crossing Generations detail right here. So we need to get that one secret pack that is guaranteed one secret pack sealed in each display. Uh, parallel foil versions of commons randomly inserted. So one pack contains five random cards. One display contains 30 packs. There's six buddy rares, 20 triple rares, 24 double rares, uh, 36 rares, and uh, 60 commons. So um, I don't see anything about them talking about any increased rates in crossing generations. Is, is this a faulty box? I'm 100% not sure right now. Like... This here, let me just show you guys right here. Crossing generations right here. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's seeing any increased like pull rates or something. I really wish I could have gotten these promo cards as well. Uh, pre order bonus, all that stuff. And yeah, I don't really see anything about any increased rates. So I don't know, guys. Uh, please tell me what you think in the comments below and of this insane pack opening. Have a look at this beautiful, glorious secret rare Thor. I think the buddy is the buddy rare version just like golden. I don't remember, but this let this look like buddy rare rarity to me. I feel like I did get a faulty box right here, but I don't know. I'm gonna start sleeving up these cards just to keep them a little bit protected, especially in the name of Thunder Empire right here. I just quick sleeve these cards, but I'm surprised, guys. Five triple rares, okay, and how many was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven double rares. And then, you know, usual five cards in the secret pack, but then we got doubles of some cards, so I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm going to go watch some other people's pack openings, see what they got, but really, really odd. I've never had this happen before, so thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely, um, I would definitely get across in generations. These cards look really amazing. Um, definitely really great cards for upgrading your decks, especially the trial decks, and maybe you could pull maybe a pack of some beautiful secret rainbow. Okay, it's not a rainbow. Um, <laughs> it's not rainbow art. Or shininess, but look at this card. Just wow. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you think, and I'll see you guys later in the next Buddy Fight video. Have a great day.